Hi guys, and uh, hello again from day 16 of quarantine in Lombardy, Italy. Um, so in the last few videos, some of you asked uh, about strategies to survive lockdown um, because you're just coming into lockdown now or you're starting up soon. Someone said they're starting on Friday. Um, so I thought I'd give you a few tips that might help make life a little bit easier for you uh, when that really kicks off. So, um, number one, uh, the most useful thing for me has been giving myself projects. Um, that could be small things, for example, in one of the first days of the quarantine, uh, I got out all of my old climbing clothing, which is kind of popped with little holes everywhere, and I sewed them all up. That took me like the best part of a day, uh, and it was quite a, quite a decent day at that too. So. Yeah, um, other things I've done. Um, so my landlady has a has a pretty big garden, and I basically decided uh, that I'm going to make that garden um, the most beautiful garden in all of Italy by the end of this quarantine. Uh, that remains to be seen if that's going to happen or not. But yeah, I've been working a couple hours every day, um, just popping out there and doing bits and bobs. Um, yeah, and that's that's definitely helped. If you can get outside, awesome. Um, fresh air definitely helps too. Um, yeah, if you're in an apartment, there's, I'm sure there are other projects you can work on. Um, painting the apartment, for example, I don't know, like um, sorting out your clothes, throwing out stuff you don't need. Um, yeah, find a project, work on it. Um, keep in a diary. Um, okay, number two. Notebook, memory's gone. Uh, exercise, wow, yeah, so this is a big one. Um, our species definitely wasn't made for uh, containment. Um, uh, we live far too sedentary lives most of the time, and this is just like sedentariness on top of sedentariness, if that yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Um, so being stuck inside all day can drive you absolutely bonkers if you're not having some kind of outlet for your, for your energy and stuff, and everyone knows about the uh, raising your rate of endorphins and so on. Um, from running or, or other forms of, of exercise. Yeah, um, I have been doing, I've been climbing the walls of my house. Um, if you don't have that option, um, I would seriously recommend getting something into the house that you can do your exercise on, um, whether that's like a, a stepper or a rolling machine, cross trainer, treadmill, whatever you can fit. Um, yeah, it'll be worth its weight in gold by the end of it. Um, I've got a a rowing machine through there and I use it pretty much every day and I'm just kind of like praying now that I don't break it at any point because uh, who knows how long this is going to last um, yeah or uh, take my take my mother's approach she's just been watching videos on uh, on YouTube yoga videos and she's starting to learn yoga that works um, okay number three um, ooh, switch off your social media yeah, so the first few days I was like, I'm sure like everyone else, I just wanted to know everything that was happening. Um, I wanted to see how everyone was doing too. You know, my friends are different places around the world. And uh, yeah, so I was on, I was on my phone um, all day, every day, even when I was working, I'm still working. Uh, and that just, yeah, God, that's exhausting after a while. I mean, it's just a... Uh, whatever you're on, it's, they're all pretty much cesspits at the moment. Um, uh, yeah, it's the surest way to uh, like create fear and tension. Uh, a little bit of disgust and dismay too, you know. Um, so yeah, limit that as much as possible. Um, sure, pop on, check the news now and then so you're informed about what's going on. But uh, yeah, don't, don't go uh, into that rabbit hole. Uh, quite often it's not rabbits at the bottom of it, but yeah, snarling beasts spouting all kinds of hateful crap. Uh, yeah, um, okay, number four, interesting one, acceptance. Yeah, so it took me for a while to sort of like get my head around the fact that I was going to be stuck in my apartment on my lonesome until this, until this is all over. Um, and yeah, I went, I think part of my sort of browsing of social media channels and the news and stuff was looking for some hope, you know, that um, I, maybe this would finish sooner than than, uh, than expected. Um, 
and yeah, that was that was a bad idea. I was just um, I was just building myself up for a fall because of course every day the the number of cases here in Italy was just rising and the number of deaths and it was just oh yeah every, everywhere it's just getting worse and worse, isn't it? So um, yeah, so basically just accepting the situation. This is it for now um, and um, try to come to terms with that. Um, yeah. Uh, number five, perspective. So a little bit of perspective, you know, most of the time when we are uh, during our normal lives, we're, uh, you know, we're bopping about like blue arsed flies is the, the Scottish expression. Uh, um, you know, running about, busy all the time. Uh, we've never got a minute to sit down and relax and do like the uh, relaxing things, more enjoyable things, and we always promise ourselves that we'll do that maybe on our vacations, but we never get around to it in our vacations because we create a million other things to do. Right now, perfect time to do it, you know, read a few books, um, cultivate your flowers, if you have flowers, um, yeah, do, do, do a bit of writing, a bit of painting, um, uh, yeah, anything that anything that's going to take your mind away from the the, the mess of the whole uh, pandemic for a little while and um, yeah let you let you concentrate on something else um, yeah it's a, a, and that can be maybe be one of the good things that comes out of this that we all see that there's merit in uh, another way of life um, okay a happy balance between the two would be okay but that's not a, an option at the moment so let's live with what we got uh, yep Okay, guys, um, time for me to get back to um, my projects, gardening and so on. Uh, take care and um, let me know how it goes.